About a month ago, the great filmmaker Martin Scorsese commented on Marvel Films in an interview with Empire, calling them not cinema. Such harsh comments coming from an illustrious and important figure in the film industry has spawned a fierce debate between two sides. And I'm here to pour even more gasoline on the fire, but I'm going to try and do it in the most rational way possible. Perusing the internet, it doesn't appear that a whole lot of people agree with Scorsese. He's been put on blast and has been accused of simply being an old, sour man who can't get with the times. Or maybe it's because he's upset that Marvel films consistently outperform his films at the box office. Either way, Marvel has received a lot of support whilst Scorsese has been forced onto his heels. To his credit, though, he has remained staunch in his position, doubling down with a New York Times article further explaining his position. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm not going to go through his entire article and express my opinions on his opinions, but if you want to give it a read, it'll be in the description. Essentially, he views Marvel movies as too safe and predictable. He believes that there's no tension or complex themes being expressed in the films. He also notes that there is an oversaturation of them, which contributes to an entire generation viewing them as cinema. I sympathize with Scorsese. I really do but I do disagree with him. A disclaimer here. I am a part of a generation that has been fed franchise after franchise and blockbuster after blockbuster. I've seen every Marvel movie besides Thor Ragnarok and Ant-Man and the Wasp in theaters, as well as every Star Wars film that has come out in my lifetime. But I'm also a film student at San Francisco State University. I've been exposed to all kinds of films from the early 20th century and on. Films from France, films from Korea, films from Germany, Japan, China, Algeria, and so on. I've even seen most of Scorsese's films, from Mean Streets to The Wolf of Wall Street. Some of his films, such as King of Comedy and The Departed, are amongst my favorites. So believe me, when I say that I see both sides of this argument, I really do. My disagreement with Scorsese stems from his generalization that Marvel films are not cinema. They absolutely are cinema. Like them or not, they are a culmination of hundreds, if not thousands, of talented people who came together to produce them. Are they formulaic? Absolutely they are. Do they offer complex themes? Not exceptionally, though Infinity War and Endgame I think do. But this doesn't render Marvel films as not cinema, like Scorsese claims. What I do believe it renders them is a simpler brand of cinema. Take music, for example. Pop music is very simplistic, catchy, and appeals to the masses. Meanwhile, you have alternative, indie, and so on, music that is much more artistic and has miles more depth than any Ariana Grande song ever will. I think that the Marvel vs. Scorsese debate is the same. Marvel is more like pop music, and what Scorsese considers to be cinema is like alternative or indie music. I'd also like to add that all genres of music have their popular sides and more artistic sides as well. Film is the same way. I'd like to leave you with this. Joker came out last month and strikes what I think to be a perfect balance between Scorsese and Marvel. The film is clearly inspired by Scorsese's work. It's a love child of the king of comedy and taxi driver after all, but it's about a comic book villain. And it worked beautifully. It's undisputable proof that these two kinds of cinema can coexist and even work together to make something well worth watching. I do wholeheartedly agree with Scorsese that there are too many franchises and blockbusters being pumped out and that we do need more films that offer emotional depth and complexity and explore deeper themes. We absolutely need more of those. It's kind of an imbalance right now and I'd love to get back to more of a balance but I just don't think it's going to happen because these Marvel films are too profitable. So that's that's what I have to say about this whole debate. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, it's totally up to you. And thank you for watching, folks. I will see you on the next one.